We are very excited this week by big news on the disabled grapevine, uh, which, by the way, is our version of LinkedIn. Uh, we call it LimpedIn. Uh, <laughs> there isn't such a thing as... Uh, there's not a disabled grapevine, is there? Yeah, you're just not on it. <laughs> I had a disabled grapevine, actually. Uh, <laughs> made some wine. Wasn't very full-bodied, but... Uh, <laughs> Nice. Yeah, thanks, guys. I've been waiting for you to bring that up for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> now, this week, a below-knee amputee by the name of John McFall was recruited by the European Space Agency to become the first disabled person in space. <laughs> yeah! Well, my first reaction was, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, my second one was, McFall's an unfortunate name if you're disabled. <laughs> Well, also, I just think it's, I think it's absolutely incredible. I'm quite looking forward to seeing what it does to the PIP assessments when they start assessing disabled people if they can float unaided for 25 metres. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that Ale guy's livid, John McFloat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alex came second uh, to be the first yeah, disabled yeah, person yeah. in space. It just Sorry, you had to find out this way. All came down to the fitness test. Apparently, you're not meant to take a pint on the treadmill. <laughs> Um, plus, no one wanted to spend a week with Alex in an enclosed space. <laughs> Honestly, the last thing you want to hear is the phrase, oh, I'd give that 15 Earth minutes. No, I'm. I'm, I'm oh, so I'm, you can't crack a window in that situation, <laughs> can you? I'll, I'll hold my little hands up. I fucked the interview up. Um, I knew I'd done it. I insisted on being called Luke Shitewalker. They didn't like that. <laughs> um, yeah, and also, you know, we did a test run and they said, Houston, we had a problem. I got offended and said I was like it when I got on the flight, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is, what it is. Uh, now, uh, after losing his right leg in a motorcycle accident aged 19, John McFall became a fitness instructor, won bronze at the 2008 Beijing Paralympics, is an orthopaedic surgeon and soon to be an astronaut. Not only is he making history, with a profile like that, he is going to clean up on Tinder. <laughs> not, not when he's up there. <laughs> <laughs> One match, E.T. <laughs> Phone home, you're not coming back in the morning. <laughs> do, you do you reckon he's going to wear his leg? In space? In space, because it kind of is obviously the idea if you're weightless, it's going to make no difference. Is he going to wear it? I no. don't know, because also, if he doesn't wear it, I mean, you know what it's like putting these on. I mean, that'll be a fucking ball ache if it's floating away. <laughs> 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 you know I mean? Spend 20 minutes trying to get on and then go, I don't even need it. Oh, God, I'm so jealous when he goes on the moon and says, one small hop for man. <laughs> <laughs> we can now cross to live. Come in, John McFall, hello. <laughs> um, loads of questions for all of us. The big one we asked earlier, will you be wearing your prosthesis in space? Yeah, really good question. Um, I, that's, that's the whole reason why we're doing this feasibility project, right? Um, in space, uh, a lot of the time, astronauts, they, obviously, they float around the, the space station uh, and they need to anchor themselves whilst they're, you know, doing research or undertaking maintenance and that sort of thing. And actually, having multiple points to be able to anchor is it, quite advantageous. So, yeah, I think probably wearing a prosthesis would be useful uh, on the ISS, but also when you can consider working outside um, the spacecraft doing EVAs, you you're probably going to need to have a prosthesis on to be able to have uh, multiple points of contact on the spacecraft whilst you're outside. I love the idea that if you tether your stump to the, like, space station, then technically it becomes the prosthetic. <laughs> and it's then a part of you, and you are just this being flying over us all. Um, John, we're so excited. Please keep us updated Sorry, throughout the whole training period, because we really want to hear how it goes. Congratulations on being going to be the first ever disabled person in space. Thank you. Thanks very much.